Hello guys, how's it going? Whitestorm here, and today we're playing, of course, The Walking Dead, episode 4, and we are urgently being directed to talk shot. to Carly. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. I can imagine that'd be awful, being away from coffee for three days. Holy cow, I would die. You got it. You? Okay, yeah. let's go and rescue Glenn. Let's go. An important member of our team. Okay. Yeah. We're at the motel. Ooh. Handy dandy walls sitting in the way. Alright. See if we can locate Glenn. Hope he's not too far. I'm sure he's going to be good. Did you see that? Wonder if he's. Ah. Here he is. I'm sure of it. Guys. Oh, man. I'm glad there he is. Jesus, Brilliant. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of well, here before we recover any Glenn. Things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We got to go. A survivor. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas and then up there hmm. in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. Oh dear. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. Uh, I bet you he's pretty cold if he's been sitting in the ice machine for so long. With or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save hmm. I hope she's all right. We'll try and rescue her as soon as possible, I guess. Right. There's two up there that we're going to have to take care of. The fella over there humping the wall. One that looks pretty injured next to that car. And okay. what have we got? This One in front of the blood. camper van as well. We don't know how hard it's right. going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill mm -hmm. every one of them in here. Quietly. No Total annihilation. Have a look around. <laughs> right, let's have a goosey gander. W to peek over the wall. Left, right, okay. So let's go and have a look at the pickup. Little pickup truck. There's one fella there, but he looks like he's not He's incapacitated. Let's have a look, see if there's anything in this truck. Oh, how do you do that then? You press up. Hmm. Yeah, let's... I don't know, was it W? Yeah, it must be W. Okay. Ah, a screwdriver. Handy dandy screwdriver. Ow. Hey man, Ooh. that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, so I'm done trying to punch out the smashing the window might not be the way to do it. It might not be the sensible way. Let's think of another way. Then that screwdriver is definitely going to be useful. Let's keep looking around. What's he say? Yeah, good plan. Let's let's keep looking around. I really want that. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Hmm. Okay. This is tough because I don't know how. Has he even tried the door? It'd be handy if he tried the door. Right. Okay. Let's. Oh, it's tough. How am I gonna get that? We can do something. What's this fella look like? If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. Okay, so that car is on a ramp. And he looks relatively incapacitated. Okay. Alright. Well, I think we've explored this side for the, a brief time. And <laughs> I'm going to look at that one more time. Can't see any other way of getting it for the time being. Let's... Nope. Oh, so you can try the door. The door is definitely locked. Alright. Um, 
Well, let's run back over here then, I guess. Nowhere, nowhere else to go, really. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Yeah. Let's head back to that wall. It's, uh, safe. <laughs> right. So it's W to look over. Oh, there's a vamp. A vampire? He's not a vampire, he's a zombie. Look around. <gasps> What's this? A pillow, and we can grab it. Okay. Like a soggy wet pillow. That's not really what I have in mind. Well, what did you have in mind? Because I don't know. Um. Okay. Let's run back over here. I wonder if there's something we can do. Maybe we could smother that one that d doesn't walk. That there's a pig in the Maybe we can put it using the gun and open the, the, the smash the window with the pillow or something. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Ugh. I thought we could break it with the pillow. Like like use it to cushion the What are you going to do with the noise or something? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into hmm. cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Okay. Damn it. Let's look over here then. So what have we got around this side then? We haven't really explored this side yet. Look to the left. Okay, so we can get over to the camper van. Um, let's do it. Right, let's uh, go Super Ninja across over here. Hmm. And Glenn's come with me, but Carly's stayed. Oh, we've got another one. And it appears that he will begin to notice you the more that you We're look around. So. Here, except for Carly's gone, and we can't use that much. Okay. Uh, Ooh, creepy sounds. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't think we can do much with him just now. Um, let's. Hmm. We are gonna need weapons, obviously. There is literally nothing we can do on this side, yet. Hmm. Let's... Anything? No. So annoying. I want to hit him with a pillow and have a big pillow fight or something. Right. Let's... Yeah, let's, let's nip back across here. It's clear that we can't do anything. Hopefully he doesn't notice us. We can't go any further to the left, so what are we missing? Hmm. We should keep looking around for weapons. Cheers, Glenn, for all of your help and advice. Let's go back over here. Maybe there's something we're missing. There's got to be. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. <laughs> okay. I'm going to nip back across here. What have we got? I know nothing's changed, but we've now got a pillow. We had a pillow before, but maybe we've been using it in the wrong way. Let's look this way. Okay, we can we can pillow this guy. Ah, progress. Oh, <laughs> that was sick. I wish that actually worked. I doubt it really does work. Right. So now, let's let's look in the car first. We might need to take the handbrake off or something. Uh, what have we got? Ooh. Spark plug. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take that. 
unlock the gear shift. So is the carbon left in gear? All right, we'll take that out then. Sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Yeah. Right, let's let's do this. Ooh, look at that. That is a fire axe. That is going to be handy. Well, he's not going nowhere. <laughs> right. Now what? We have a spark plug and we've lost the pillow. But we've taken out effectively two zombies. So, slow and steady wins the race. Now, can we use the spark plug for anything over here? Um, I don't think we probably can, to be honest. We don't really have any weapons. Snip back across here, see if anything's changed. Maybe by killing that guy that's against the wall. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. I think hmm. you're gonna need more than your fists, man. Right. Let's let's go back across. This we still need a weapon and we still need to get into that wagon where that screwdriver is. The longer you're unarmed, the more nervous I get. I know you've of a nervous disposition, buddy, but you know, we've gotta we've gotta do this. We can't just go balls deep straight away. We've gotta crack on, methodically work through this. Let's go back over to the truck. You guys are probably screaming at me, saying, "Just use this or just use that." But hell, I don't know. So pick in the truck. Once you're playing it, you kind of you're not sure. We can use a spark plug. Wait. Oh. Let me see the spark plug. Glenn knows something. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Oh. Okay. What is that? Oh! I don't know what he just did there or how he did it. I don't know. There's some... Some sort of element inside a spark plug that seems to go through glass easily. But we now have a screwdriver, which is awesome. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright. So, who do we take out first? Let's... Yeah, I think we're going to have to go back across here. Alright. I want to take his brains out. Let's go back across to the camper van. Right, now the, the question is, do we take the left one out or the right one out? Um... We can take him. I think we can take him. Alright. Let's pick his brains. Don't hit him in the... That's it. In the head. Oh, there's another one. Panic. Right. Right. That's a whole bunch of them taken out. I really like the look of a fire axe. Right, come on. Oh. Okay. He's not going to let me get it. We still got that screwdriver. Yes. Boom. And I doubt I'm going to get that back. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got <laughs> this. Are you two done? <laughs> Cheers, buddy. All right. Let's get that fire axe. Two more. Bish bash bosh. Two more to go. I feel a bit more confident with an axe, I must say. Right. Let's go up these ear stairs. Why don't you guys lag behind? We're getting on now. We're getting there. I feel like we'll right we've achieved behind. something. Okay. This is uh, 
kind of freaking me out a little bit. So this could be make or break. I hope it's uh, I hope it's not skill based and it's actually you just hit them and you and you win. Right. Number one, Mr. Zombie. Right. One, two, three. Mother call to flee. Huh. And the, no the second one. Rad. Boom! You lost your head. Well done. All right. Now what? Well, we can easily get into the door just by uh, there. We're here to help. using our axe. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Mm. If you open up, she doesn't we can want take us you there. somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. She's pretty safe where she is, I'd, I'd expect. Okay. You might can't kick the door down because there's a plank. We got an axe. Let's use the axe. Bosh. She, she locked it from the. She was locked from the outside. So. And it would appear that she's also locked from the inside. You're hurt. Ooh, oh, she looks God. like a meth head or something. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's hmm. too late for that. Guys. She's oh, been she's bitten. been bitten. What? I told you I said go away. I'm bitten. That'll be why she doesn't want to come play. Just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. She looks like a druggie. These guys should do you have a boyfriend? Like anti-drugs videos. It's not Christian. Please. Just it's leave not me. Christian. Please go. I don't think Christianity really uh, applies in a world of okay, apocalyptic we'll endeavors. Try to take care of yourself or whatever. I think she's a lost have, cause, Lee. You have a gun. Uh oh. So can she's I noticed my Glock. Borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, I don't want to be Sweet one child of mine. They're, they're satanic. <laughs> they're we satanic. Can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need the bullets. We need to get going. Give it to we, me, please. Uh, we need this those bullets. Please step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please. Oh shit! Oh, Whoa. the balcony! Ah! Oh no! Who's gonna pick the gun up? Who's gonna do it? Uh oh, Whoa, take it easy. who's got it? Just want to help. You can't, Miss. Just relax. She's genuinely gonna do it. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. I know what the last thing that she's gonna oh, think is. Just no, no, no. Well, at least the last thing that's gonna go through her brain. <laughs> be a nine mil or something, wouldn't it? All right. Well, that was all of that just to get one bullet lost, a fire axe. And oh dear, we got a vital experience of of killing uh, zombies. That is definitely what we've got. And guess what? Come. We've just attracted a whole bunch more. Oh, we have a car. Nice. I didn't know we had a car. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah. We're okay. I've okay. Got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the truck. Hopefully now we can clear the street, get the pills. Jobs are good and quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So, where are we now? What have we got to do? Should we talk to Kajita and Ducky? No. We've got a fire axe now. We could just smash open the combo lock. Um, Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, I might not have meant to click on that. Let's talk to Glenn. Just make sure he's alright. You know. 
Back to the motor. I'm Mr. Lover Lover. How you doing, Glenn? You know when things are taken <laughs> away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. Oh, no. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Mm. You know it's a tough choice, to be honest. It's a really tough choice. You know Would you do it, guys? What do you think? Why? Feel free to stick no. that down in the comment section below. Would you have given her the gun? You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Ah. Uh, he doesn't know the combination then. All right. I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling okay. like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, Let's... Right. Let's crack on. Let's go back out this way. I think everybody's probably going to be where I left them. How Just as doing? happy as they were hey. before. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, yes Let's I do. And does okay. he have a polar bear with antlers on? That is so cool. <laughs> right, so. Break open this. Should we do it now? Yeah, let's break it open. Pick up the brick. Throw the brick. Awesome. Now to okay. Hopefully that didn't make too much noise. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Oh. Oh, you can. Oh, you have to manually open the gate. All right, no problem. This is dodgy. <gasps> Squeaky gate. Right. Pick up the brick. Okay, brick. Retrieved. Now we've got to throw the brick. Okay. Addy oop. There you go. Bish bash bosh. You could have been a cricketer with that kind of arm. Right, let's look to the. Ah. The volume's up. Nice. Hopefully they all get themselves cut to shreds with all that broken glass everywhere as well. Okay, let's nip over to this fella here. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? You keep the door open. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, he's still alive. Even though he looks like he's got a bullet shot in the head. <laughs> Hey, bud. I know if you were there, you would have died for them. This is a solemn time. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Is that is that is actually his yet? brother, isn't it? Give me a second. Gosh. A poor fella. I got to do this now, man. Yeah. I think it's I think we gotta just cap cap him off. He's not going anywhere, but he's got the keys, isn't he? So if we just take his head off, or something, and then get his keys. Ooh! He, we're going for the full beheading. I thought we'd have just, you know, hit him in the head. Oh, this is going to get messy. Rawr. And again. Rawr. Is he dead? One more. Okay. There we go. Fucking hell. He's not very good with an axe, is he? Well, he's not going anywhere. Made a right bloody mess now. Let's search him. See if he's got the keys. If he does, happy days. Otherwise, his entire endeavour's just been useless. Oh, he has the keys. Brilliant. Alrighty. Run! I think I might have made a few extra noises than I meant to. Oh dear. Right. We no longer have a combination lock, so they might get through that. Hopefully the door is very well barricaded. It does seem to have like plywood on the windows, so it might do. Right. 
What's the first order of business? We're into Got new territory things. now. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Okay. Let's get in there. Use the key on the locked door. I am wondering though, why was it barricaded? Is there somebody in there? Let's go in and see. Oh, no. oh. shit. shit. Hurry. That's going to attract every single bloody zombie in the whole neighborhood. <sighs> Who left the power on? Who's that? Somebody with a screwdriver in their back anyway. Ooh. Look at the scary handprints. <laughs> oh shit! Look, they're all coming now. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me okay. honking in the alley, this start is... getting people out of here. You got this is all happening now. Charlie and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. Okay, we've, get on we've lost our axe. Back as fast as I can. Stay oh, away shit. from the windows. This is say, Glenn, we need your help. All right, so I'm 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 now in Glenn's place. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Are you gay? Yeah, we will make it through this. Push. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Uh oh. Are you sure? Oh, shit. On it like a car bonnet. Okay. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh my god, I hope she's got unlimited bullets. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. That window is Quick, through. quick, run. I can do it all by myself. <sighs> Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Oh Jesus. Oh, it's his walking stick. Oh, okay, that'll do. Alright, that's one place. That might be secured for a brief time. Oh no! Juggy! Hey you Juggy! Right, she has the gun, she's the most important. Hopefully it's got ammunition. I'm sure it does. I'm sorry, Doug. I've made my decision. Clementine! Oh shit, which way were they? That's where she is. Let's get that. Ah, magazine for your gun. Alright. No, oh no! Juggy! Well, the gun on its own was much more important. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, Clementine! No! Stamp on his head! Stamp on his head! Or her head! Oh, that's the one with the nice pick or screwdriver or something in it. Run! Come on! You fucker! You dirty, dirty bastard! Oh, I can't believe it! After we risked our lives. I'm not letting somebody else. Oh, Kenny, you're a lifesaver. Especially. Oh, Kenny, friend. cheers, buddy. It's a good job we made all of those decisions so that Kenny would be our friend. Oh, oh my God, that was intense. <laughs> Don't tell me we've come back to that motel where all of those freaking dead people were. We are. We've come back. Okay. Oh well. We must have cleared them out. 
Is this the end? Did we complete the episode? Or is this just the, ne the next level? Who knows? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the bells from the the ring of ding ding in earlier on the, f the drugstore attracted all of the guys that was here and made them fox your Oscar down to the drugstore, and that's why this place is now clear. That's that's conceivable. Oh dear, somebody's getting eaten down there. Shoot. I feel sorrowful all of a sudden. Okay, let's. I don't see what there's much to do. Oh, backstory. Atlanta is a stage nine catastrophe. To Atlanta. Yeah. Oh dear. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. So you're going off to be in the TV series. Either way. All right. Gotta take my chances. Okay. What about this lady? What is she after? I just want to talk to you about your father, by the way, Mrs. You gotta do what you gotta do. What you gotta do. And I gotta do this. You, you can't. You can, in these you in these things, safe. everybody should really stay together. But if you gotta go do something, and he doesn't do it. I always think you're going to probably regret it, unless it was a stupid decision. But at this stage in the game, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> oh boy. I hope you've uh, got enough petrol for your, for your jalopy there, mate. Okay, well he's gone. We might see him do further down the line, you never know. Um, hey let's walk up to Kenny. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. Oh yeah. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Earlier, I, uh, now I've got a good rapport with you. I think I'll probably try and stay with you. Parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. I think I that was obvious that from, from day one. To be I honest, think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. Ooh. Thank you very much. You got it. You got it. Alrighty. Oh, this is the reporter lady. She's the one with the gun. We need to keep her safe, really. I'm okay. You know. Hopefully, she's got enough bullets. I can't stop thinking about Doug. What is a reporter doing with a gun? Him, could we? Is that normal practice in America? That's the question. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Really? Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better yeah, have. of course he did. Anyway, course I'd he rather did. be alone, I think. Alrighty. Wait, Lee? What? How did you choose... We both needed you. Well, I think it was pretty obvious. You had the gun. I was gonna help um, But you helped me first. A little bit of a falsehood. A little bit of a... I mean, if I could have, I would have, but... Wish we both could have you know. It, you know? Me too, Carly. Hmm. She had the gun. That's why we saved her. Right. Hopefully the gun comes in handy later on. Um... Let's see how Clementine's doing. I'm looking at you too, mister. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Alright, I hope, uh, not a lot of kids here. I hope Clementine's oh, alright, listening to that, that little boy it's motor mouth, motor mouth on. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. No, no! So? It can't really help us. But, I know. It's just... Okay, so, the policy of saying the truth said, is, uh... But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're it's gone. It's a tough truth. It's Let's gone. just put it that way. It is a tough truth. 
I'll just Maybe. Keep this one, I mean, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Maybe we could find Lee. another one. Let me go. Excuse me. Oh man, Clarence who the hell does he think he's talking to? Come here, man. You like my daughter? Yeah, cheeky little bastard. His daughter. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he Where the hell did that come from? Everett is a convicted We're in a post-apocalyptic so situation. You go near her. Why would I want me? your daughter right now at this situation after going through all no that carry on? And I don't give a shit about what happens ah. to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. He's a cheeky blighter, isn't he? Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Do you know what? My dad would be I do have a second. Yeah, and he doesn't seem to bloody remember that, does he? You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Well then. What's that noise? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. I doubt it. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone Is it? on watch. We could stay here until the That's military. That's a wide officer. open area. I don't know. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places And a to very call dodgy home. balcony that breaks. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Huh. Ah, well. Uh-oh. There goes the power. Oh, poo. <laughs> oh, to be continued. Well then, guys. Uh, I will let the the credits play a little bit, the, the exciting bits. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode. Don't forget to like and share with that your friends if you do see this video. Keep, remember, it needs a thumbs up. Uh, and I shall make sure that this is into a playlist. Okay. I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! You would never lie to my dad. Even back in the drugstore, whenever we got Kenny Lee's bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. Uh. Uh.